I'm going to show you how I do my hair 1940 style. Hey there, there beautiful YouTube. It's Chloe Jean from the channel Vintagely Yours. When I got into reenacting, um, I realized that I was going to need to figure out how to do my hair in those iconic styles in a more historically appropriate manner. And due to my mobility issues and not really having them, um, I haven't done a lot of research from the era because I don't understand the way they give directions to the 1940s. It's hard to translate into a modern mind as well as I just don't have the beauty manuals and I uh, don't know how to necessarily go about getting that. So I thought for today's video I would share how I do my hair in a historically accurate, I'm sorry, a historically appropriate manner um, without a whole lot of hairpins and a whole lot of curls. So that's what today's video is about. This first is hairdo I'm gonna do isn't actually like 40s per se. It comes I, from a favorite TV shows, which is placed during World War II. And it is a, actually a combination of two hairdos that my favorite character in the TV show wears. And I will figure out some way to put that on the screen. Those two pictures, the two hairdos I have taken and combined. So I would call this a, a historically appropriate hairdo because it's not really like historically, historically accurate. Like I've said, I have mobility issues. So I use hair supports for this hairdo. If you had longer hair or curly hair hair than mine, um, I guess you could use some back combing and tease your hair into it but I use this hair roll and this hair roll. The first step is to um, comb your hair. Uh, I have my hair parted in this at the side, which is incredibly helpful because I'm going to take my bangs. I'm going to part it on the other side. So I'm going to take my comb and just comb it and then we're going to part it down the side so we have matching parts. And so we're going to take our smaller hair roll and we're going to take the end of our tail and feed it through the slit. And then we're gonna roll upwards to the top of our head. So it kinda looks like this. You're gonna bend both ends on the inside. And then you're going to take a bobby pin and you're going to secure one side to your head and then you are going to take another bobby pin and pin the other side. So if you have a whole bunch of hair like I do Right here, I take some bobby pins and um, and just pin it down. Um, and we already have some 40s definition right there. Um, if you have longer hair or don't have the hair supports or don't want to use hair supports, 
you could probably take that that middle section that we parted and back combed and teased it and then just pin it um it's gonna fall um pin it you know crossways at the back to kind of create this so i'm gonna use i've always used this um hair roll and it's got an elastic headband that will go around your head and go behind your front roll. In the beginning, I pinned this elastic band to my head um, um, just so it would stay, but now it's gotten used to it, so it stays very nicely. And make sure that all your hair is smooth behind and around the roll and then we're going to take the sections of hair right here and wrap it around that elastic band and then we are going to repeat on the right side okay so we're going to take the hair that is been left underneath the the roll and we're going to take it and tuck it over the roll and we're gonna repeat like so on the other side leaving a kind of a thinner section right here in the middle and then we're gonna pin that down and again this is gonna take some practice okay so, we've got our hair pinned back over the roll, kind of looking 40s. And now we're going to take our vintage headband. We are going to place it behind our front roll. And then we're going to tie it underneath the back roll. And there you have it. One vintagely inspired hairdo, which I like to call Zoya after the character I got it off of. Uh, so if you try this hairdo, um, whether or not it's with back combing or curls or hair supports like I do it, drop me a comment down below and let me uh, see how it works for y'all. So, perhaps the most iconic hairdo of the era is, of course, the victory rolls. And hearing a lot of vintage uh, enthusiasts discuss them and trying them myself, I realized just how hard it can actually be to do them without two hands or a helper or curls. So, I have spent way too much time on YouTube uh, looking up tutorials for uh, on how to do Victoria B-rolls. And none of them really made much sense until I found the one, this one, which... So, thank you, thank you, thank you to the lovely, lovely lady who put this out. Um, so, I like to start with my bang side you know from the left side I know. and in the original tutorial she said to part from the ear so this much um but at the same time at the same time if that's not enough hair for you i would just take more because you gotta have some oomph. and you part your hair and then you lift it up and you brush it back, brush it back, brush it back, and brush it back some more. And 
um, then you twist towards your head like this and it's got to be towards your hair at your head because it gives this kind of this so it just takes some practice and we're just gonna leave you know our hair hanging and you kind of want to push it more towards the front so you get more of that 40s we're gonna take our hairpin and we're gonna pin like so um, and then I like to secure it again crossways, you know, where your bobby pins make the X. So it gives you more stability and it, your cheap 40s roll does not fall out. Um, so now we're going to, you know, balance it out. We need a second roll. And so I'm going to take my comb and we're going to, whoops, we're going to section our hair like we did again and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna just twist part way through it we're gonna twist our hair and then we're gonna um, twist our hair and then we're gonna push it forward and just for um, you know balance we're gonna push it as high and as far as our first victory roll, we're gonna slide the bobby pin through that roll and we're gonna kind of create this balanced effect and then we're gonna grab another bobby pin and we are going to do that cross T thing. So we have more stability. Now, if you want to leave your hair down, uh, you kind of have to blend those ends that you twisted and made these out of into your hair so it doesn't look weird. But one of the reasons why I, I like this so much is the versatility of it. In the original um, tutorial, I, the lovely lady who did it um, figured it out put her hair in a messy bag so I I use a donut a hair donut and you just at, at the nape of your neck gather all the hair up and then you spread it fan it and you're gonna take your hair elastic and you're gonna just secure your hair around the bun and then if you are fortunate enough to have long hair, you can just tuck the ends that, you know, didn't make it the ends of your hair that are around the bun into your hair elastic. And I don't know if you can see it, but we have a bun. You could do it in a ponytail. I went to Walmart and bought one of these little clippies and then you are going to gather your hair just like we did for the bun style. Okay. And we're going to take our clip and we're going to wrap it around our ponytail. We're going to clip it together and make it into a ponytail. Um, like this. And then the last uh, way you can wear this is actually in ponytails. And I do this for everyday normal life when I'm running to the grocery store and you know, I want a cute, slightly vintage look. And it also kind of reminds me of Judy Garland from the Wizard of Oz. So just divide your hair as best you can into, you know, kind of, you know, pigtail shapes. And then take hair elastics. Um, and then, you know, make pigtails. I, I like to 
hold them so they rest on my shoulders so they kind of create a more vintage ponytail look. So there you have the it. four hairdos uh, out of the same front hair. This is not a historically accurate way to do your hair by any means. But this is a huge topic in the vintage world of how do we do historically accurate, uh, I should say, historically appropriate looking hairstyles. Um, I get a lot of comments and questions uh, from my friends and stuff of how I do my hair. So, and I personally, I've been trying to get better at my historically appropriate hairdos. So I have, you know, variety in my looks and my hairdos and I thought I would share this on my channel so all of you ladies out there who are wondering you could have a kind of an idea of you know some ways to do your hair that kind of looks you know accurate I, I had a lot of fun making this video for y'all um, I always have a lot of fun dressing up and doing my hair and makeup and this is my favorite hairdo right now. I wear it literally everywhere. So yeah, um, if you liked this video, uh, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Um, I love hearing from y'all and don't forget to hit that notification bell. I think it's over here somewhere and the subscribe, which is also down. Uh, and if you want some more fun behind the scenes action, head over to my Instagram page, which is underscore eventually yours 3945 i post over there sundays mondays wednesdays and fridays right now and for i put out behind the scenes stuff so you'll get lots and lots of fun and stuff over there and yeah we can be, uh, be vintage friends together um my name is chloe jean again and i'm from the channel eventually yours and i'll see you in my next video which is going to be awesome until we meet again bye